Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Man's Tutor. If you like this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 4.1, chapter 4, principle of mathematical induction. Question number 3 and 4. Question number 3, 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to n is equal to 2n divided by n plus 1. So now the here to prove this particular statement we have to follow three steps. The first step is proving for n is equal to 1. The second step is making the assumption for n is equal to k. And the third step is by using the assumption we are proving the statement for n is equal to k plus 1. So now the given statement, let the given statement be P of n or Pn. So the our statement I have taken here. Now the first step is let us prove the given statement for n is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1 means it is P of 1. So from the left hand side we have to take the first term. See here the first term is 1. So that is 1 is equal to from the right hand side this entire term you have to take that is 2n divided by n plus 1. Now in the place of n just put the value 1. So 2 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1. So 1 is equal to 2 by 2. 1 is equal to 1. See here LHS is equal to RHS. So now the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. So P of 1 is true. So step 1. In the step 1 we got that the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. That means now we can proceed to the second step. See in the second step here we make the assumption. The assumption is that we take some positive integer k and we assume that the given statement is true for that particular integer. That means in the statement p of n wherever we have n that value we replace with k. So now here for p of k the statement becomes 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to c plus k. In the place of n I have written here k is equal to 2k divided by k plus 1. Now let us take this one as statement 1. So this is our assumption. Now in the third step by using the assumption now we try to prove that the statement is also true for p of k plus 1. That means here we have to write this statement in the form of p of k plus 1. So here we have written the statement up to k term. Now we have to write the statement up to k plus 1 term. So that here see you can write this particular statement in up to k plus 1 term as 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2, 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus k. Then after this k we have k plus 1 term. Again the k plus 1 term you can add here plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on up to plus k plus 1. After this we get k plus 1 term. Then is equal to here as we are we have written the left hand side in the form of k plus 1. So now here if you have k we write here k. Then if we have here uh, k plus 1 you have to write here k plus 1. So on the right hand side wherever you have k just make that one as k plus 1. So 2 into k plus 1 divided by here k plus 1 this becomes k plus 1 plus 1. So now this one we have to prove this particular right hand side value we have to prove now. So how we can prove to prove this one what we do is here you have to take the left hand side of p of k plus 1. And uh, using that left hand side and using the assumption we need to reach to the right hand side value that is this one. So now let us prove this one. So I will take here the left hand side of the statement. The left hand side of the statement is 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to k plus the k plus 1 term we have. See we have the assumption of for p of k. See that this is the assumption we made in the previous page. 
if you see this assumption here and if you compare this lhs then see this entire term we can write as 2k divided by k plus 1 because from the assumption we can conclude this one so what i do is here this entire term i will write as 2k divided by k plus 1 how we got this one this is from the assumption then plus the remaining term 1 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to k plus 1. Then see, if you just see this particular part, then this is nothing but this one, right? See, the set of the sum of natural numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to plus n is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. This is the statement for sum of natural numbers and now this is there in this form where here we have k in the place of k we have k plus 1 that means you can write this much this part as what here we have n here we have k plus 1 so k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus plus 1 divided by 2 so that i am doing here I have used this particular statement, the sum of n natural numbers to simplify this. So, I will write that, see, 2k divided by k plus 1 plus 1, this one you have 1 divided by this part, I am writing like this way by using this mathematical statement. So, it becomes k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by 2, right here, k plus 1 plus 1, so that becomes k plus 2 divided by 2. Then this 2 will go up and this will come down. So here this becomes 2k divided by k plus 1 plus 2 divided by k plus 1 into k plus 2. See now here uh, we need to prove this part. So now while simplifying just see this one. See we need here 2k plus 1 and here also in the denominator also we need k plus 1 plus 1. So, if you compare here this and this, see, here we have k plus 1, here we have 2. So, we can take 2 by k plus 1 out here from this first term and from second term. So, I am taking here 2 divided by k plus 1 out. So, if then the remaining is here k plus here the remaining value is 2 is already taken and k plus 1 is taken out. So, k plus 2, 1 by k plus 2. Now, for this, if you take the common denominator as k plus 2, then this becomes 2 by k plus 1 we have already. Then, k into k plus 2 plus 1 divided by k plus 2. Now, again, you simplify this one. 2 divided by k plus 1 into k square 2k plus 1 divided by k plus 2. See, this is nothing but it is the, you can write this one in the form a plus b whole square. See, if I simplify this one, k plus 1 whole square, k square plus 1 square, 1 plus 2k, this I get. So, this I can write like this way. That is from the formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, k plus 1 whole square. Now you can cancel k plus 1 and k plus 1. So here we get 1 k plus 1. So 2 into k plus 1 divided by k plus 2. See, now we have almost reached the right hand side. We have here 2 into k plus 1. Then here we have k plus 1 plus 1. So this k plus 2 you can write as k plus 1 plus 1, right? That is nothing but k plus 2 only, k plus 1 plus 1. So, this is nothing but our RHS. So, now from the LHS we reach to the RHS. That means now the given statement is true for P of k plus 1. So, by using the principle of mathematical induction, now we can say that the statement P of n is true for all the set of natural numbers. So, this statement at the end you have to write in every problem. So, this is the third problem. Next here we will see the fourth problem. See the fourth problem is 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on up to plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 divided by 4. See now here also let, let us say that the given statement is pn or p of n. Now we will first start with the step 1. We check the given statement for n is equal to 1. So that is p of 1. 
So left hand side, see, left hand side means always here we have to take n is equal to 1 means it is the first term. It is not 1, it is the first term of the statement. Here on this statement the first term is 1 into 2 into 3. So here 1 into 2 into 3. Then is equal to next right hand side. The right hand side term is this one n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 divided by 4. Here, now you put the value of n is equal to 1 because we are checking for n is equal to 1. So, 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So, 2 into 3 into 4 divided by 4, 6 is equal to 24 divided by 4. 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 4, 24. Then, 6 is equal to 6. So here LHS is equal to RHS that means here now we can say that the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. Next this is this step is also known as a basis step. Next we have step 2 and step 3. Those steps are known as induction step. So in the step 2 we make the assumption. So now we have to take some positive integer k and uh, we have to assume that the given statement is true for that n is equal to k. So wherever you have n replace that value with k for p of k. So our assumption statement becomes p of k 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on up to plus k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 is equal to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 divided by 4. So let us take this one as statement 1. So this is the assumption we have made. Next we need to use this assumption to prove the statement for p of k plus 1. That means now we have to prove the statement for p of k plus 1. How to prove that? How to write p of k plus 1? See, this is p of k. So now you are writing the statement for p of k plus 1 means this will this one will remain as it is. In, here in this place, you have to add the k plus 1 term. That is k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 divided by here also wherever you have k. Uh, k plus 2, sorry, not divided by, is equal to here k plus 1. Then again, this one become k plus 1. So, like this way, that k plus 1 term you have to write. Let us see that how that k plus 1 term looks. See, here we have p of k plus 1, 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on up to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. This is p of k term plus now we are writing p of k plus 1 term. So, again, you have to add one more term, k plus 1 term. Plus, wherever you have k, make that one as k plus 1, k plus 1. Here this is k plus 1 plus 1. Then here we have k plus 1 plus 2 is equal to, again see here, k we have k plus 1. This you have to make as k plus 1. Then this is plus 1. Then k plus 1 plus 2, k plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So this now we have to prove. So to prove this one, I will take here the LHS of this particular P of K plus 1. So, the LHS is this one. So, now on this LHS, see, uh, if you compare our assumption, from the assumption, see, this much part is equal to K into K plus 1 into K plus 2 into K plus 3 divided by 4. So, now I am replacing this much part with our assumption value that is P of K right hand side value. So, K into K plus 1 into K plus 2 into K plus 3 divided by 4 plus the remaining value K plus 1 into K plus 2 into K plus 3. So, now here see in this if you take the common denominator as 4 here this becomes k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 plus 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 divided by 4. Now here you can, we have two terms. This is the one term and this is the another term. In between we have a plus symbol. From this you can take uh, this one out, k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3. Here also we have k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3. This is existing in both the terms. So, this 3, this 3 value you can take out. So, if I take that out, here the remaining is k 
k and here the remaining is 4. So, I have taken here k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 out. So, here in the first term the remaining value is k. Then again here the remaining value is 4. So, I get here k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 into k plus 4 divided by 4. But we need the final answer in the form of k plus 1. That is, we need to get this answer. See, already we have reached to the solution almost here. See, here we have k plus 2. Here we have k plus 1 plus 1. So, you know that this one you can write as k this plus 2. You can write as k plus 1 plus 1. That is nothing but k plus 2 only. Then again this k plus 1 plus 2 which is k plus 3 only. k plus 1 plus 3 that is k plus 4 only divided by 4. And this is nothing but our right hand side. See, the right hand side is this value and we reach to the right hand side value. So, therefore, now we can say that this given statement is also true for P of k plus 1. So, hence, by using the principle of mathematical induction, here we have proved that the statement is true for all the set of n natural numbers. So, this is about solution of question 3 and 4. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor to get more regular updates. Thanks for watching.